but geothermal is a, a, a energy source that a lot of people have high hopes for. Is is a methane release from those wells a serious problem? We are drilling a well at Cornell as we speak. We're not drilling a gas well, we're drilling an information well. We're drilling a well down to 10,000 feet below the Cornell campus to determine whether we have sufficient hot rock at 10,000 feet that we could use as a geothermal energy source, that is create a heat well to heat the campus. So guess what? While we're drilling, we're encountering methane. We encountered methane as we were drilling down to 800 feet. It's commonplace because of that stuff that's behind me, shale. There are a lot of shale um, in this area. And because there's a lot of shale in this area, there's been a lot of methane that over hundreds of millions of years has migrated upwards to be trapped in other sedimentary rock uh, like sandstones. So as we're drilling this wonderful green energy potential well at, at Cornell, we're encountering what everybody knows happens when you drill a well. You're going to encounter rock that contains methane. And during the drilling process, that methane comes to the surface and in most cases is vented directly to the atmosphere. What we're doing right now, and we're using exactly the same equipment and the same personnel and the same companies that one would think about using to drill a gas well in the Marcellus in Pennsylvania is the is methane an issue in drilling deep geothermal wells? Absolutely. I mean, look at that stuff behind me. We got to go through the Mars. That's Marcellus, where it's exposed on the surface. We have to drill through the Marcellus. And below the Marcellus, there's the Utica Shale. We have to drill through the Utica Shale to get to the 10,000 foot level where we're doing our experiments to determine whether we have the right heat content, the right flow properties to potentially drill a lot of other wells, six, seven, eight more wells uh, to extract the heat from the rock. So yeah, we have to go through the same, pre same processes of casing a well, cementing a well, having methane detection capability during that whole process um, and responding to it as we encounter it. We will encounter it. We know we're going to encounter it. We're planning to encounter it and control it. The well is not going to be bringing methane to the surface if we can help it. It's only going to be bringing data and information to the surface. Right. Is that is that a problem only in areas like where you have the Marcellus and the Utica, or is that a problem uh, generically uh, anywhere? It, it could be a problem anywhere, depending upon the lithography, how many layers of which kind of rock you got to go through to get to your heat source. Um, certainly in a large part of the Eastern United States, you have sedimentary rock, which includes shales, um, as a source rock for methane generation and, and trapping rock that has stored it for hundreds of millions of years. Out west, where there's, there have been many geothermal wells, it's not such a problem. Um, don't have to go as deep to get to really hot rock. <laughs> and those wells are mostly producing electricity because the rock is so hot they can produce steam at very high pressure. We're not going to produce electricity here at Cornell. The rock isn't hot enough for that. Um, but to answer your question, it has to be site specific. You, you have to know something about the geology before you start drilling deep holes in the ground. 